what is happening you guys as you can see in the title of this video we are actually doing a car update so i know i did like one of these at the beginning of my youtube stage when i first created my channel so it's basically like a full mod list that i did so today i actually wanted to do a updated video of everything that is on the car now so honestly a lot hasn't really changed but i just want to give y'all like a full update what's been going on what's been going on with my personal life you know car life just a little bit so i can be updated future meets that we're having you know all of the above you know future plans with the car and just everything so i just want to give y'all literally a complete run through of everything first thing i want to start off with is the current up-to-date mods with the car i believe one of the newest things i've added is the bottom splitter i got a custom splitter from s factor uh if y'all haven't known or if y'all don't know it's s factor fabrication and he's located on instagram in pa uh order one pick it up get it delivered do what you guys do but that's one of the newest things that i got done to the car uh, it's actually a kind of like a three-piece lip because it has the center lip a full extended lip with the fins and we got airplanes flying through right now the next updated thing that i did was i added new carbon fiber to the grill because this is definitely a wrap and i just re-wrapped it because the last one was a i think it was a, well, a matte wrap of carbon but this one is more of a glossy 6d wrap so i actually like this one a lot better uh i did the roof as well so that's in the 6d carbon fiber wrap if you can tell it actually looks really good the trunk is added that's a custom trunk yep that's that is molded so got that for a good price can't complain and also the wheels I literally got these wheels so uh, these are new rims are new for the car uh, the other ones I had I believe there were what CS 15s or something like this and these are the RF 15s the ESR brand so I stuck with them and I, I love them a lot like I really cannot complain but as far as like updates to the build I believe that's everything that I've done to it everything else y'all know about the custom headlights the stars in the roof the gauges but other things i do want to do to the tl i got a couple of things that i want to do like maintenance wise i got a couple of things i do have to fix for example uh like this bumper i kind of broke the tab on here so i want to fix that uh the other side as well has a broken tab this one's more noticeable so you can see how it's a crack right here so i kind of want to fix that uh, I'm trying to think of little things I do when I replace. Um, I know I just changed out like the axle on this side with the ball joint, lower lower ball joint, lower control arm. I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, the seat. The seat got to go. I, I got to get seat covers because this is just terrible. The inside of the car is clean, but it's just my front driver's seat is just the worst. So definitely gotta get seat covers that's that's next on the list for sure but i'm just trying to think of what else i want to do to the car i was thinking about getting bags for it and honestly just waiting for somebody to part out some some bags that's honestly but i don't know if i want to go that route i'm very very indecisive on what i want i just love how the car looks right now i love how i can just daily it and i do daily it and i drive a lot so i'm just thinking like ace bags a good idea future build i don't know if uh this car is gonna stay forever i've been having my eye on a bmw 340 just waiting for a nice one to pop up and i don't know i might keep the tl might sell it i don't know i really don't so just thinking just thinking uh besides that moved into my new crib finally got a place by myself so that's what that is crazy because I work right there. <laughs> but yeah, besides that, we actually do have a meet coming up as well. It's October 1st and it's at Laurel Town Center and it's uh, at the parking garage next to the AMC. 
So if y'all want to pop out to an Acura meet, this is going to be full of Acura. So I used to limit it to TLs, but I kind of want to see what other cars want to come out. You know, more of the Acura brand. So TLX, RSX, um, just all the Acuras. Anybody, you can have a TL, third gen, fourth gen. I really don't care. Just pop out. Shoot. Even if you don't got a TL and you want to show up, show up. But yeah, that's going to be October 1st and it's at 6 p.m. I would drop the flyer like right now. But what else? What else? I think I do want to lower the car some more because right now how it sits, it sits perfectly fine for a daily. And I can't complain because, like I said, I drive a lot and I don't rub. I don't scrape. Uh, I could go over speed bumps perfectly fine. Like, literally, I could go over straight. Them very, very tall ones, I don't know about that. But <laughs> the regular size speed bumps, I could literally tackle that with no problem. But I do just want to go a little lower in the front. Just how the rear is, I kind of want to make the front matching. And I just want to tuck the rear just a little bit. Just a little bit. And also, I, um, I got new upper ball joints on both sides and I got different ones than I had last time. The last upper ball joints I had were adjustable and they actually could reach up to three degrees of camber. The ones that I got now only allow me to go like 1.5, something like that. So if you can see, it's not like the rear. It is slightly cambered like literally to 1.5 degrees, but it's not to the 3.0 that I want. So I'm thinking about just getting some skunk twos and slapping that on and actually lowering it just a little bit because i do got some height to play around with like i am like i'm not the lowest i could be like so i could definitely go some more yeah like come on i'm <laughs> i'm like six inches off the ground i'm also thinking about hosting a cruise so for the fall time there's a cruise that they used to do back in the day it's called the skyline cruise and i know the older guys with the tls used to do them all the time and i believe it was like the shenandoah drive so i was kind of thinking about doing one of them in the fall time when the trees are changing colors you know we can get some good photos you know it could be a beautiful drive so let me know in the comments below if y'all think that's a good idea if y'all want to pop out to it uh hopefully <laughs> all our tls could make it there it's not a far drive from the dc area i think it's probably like a two hour drive to get there or something like that but to go through the Shindoa Drive, the Skyline Cruise, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think it's like an hour from one point to the next side. So to come back, it's like another hour. So I know we're going to put some miles on our car for sure. So definitely we're going to need some AAA. Somebody about to break down. I know it's probably going to be me. But thinking about breaking down, this car has had zero problems. Actually, one of the fans stopped working. And actually, no my radiator gave out i lied yes my radiator gave out i changed it myself that was super easy and then actually one of the fan fuses uh went out so i fixed that um trying to think besides that i did get into the accident where i broke the ram i think y'all know about yeah i uploaded that on youtube so i fixed that got the wheels back on i actually gotta add some uh what is it like hub rings to the wheels so I got that at the house. I just got to uh, put that on the rims. I'm trying to think of what else happened with the car. The transmission has been perfectly fine. I literally can't complain. You know, it, it messes up here and there, but you know, what you're going to do is a 06. But besides that, I am thinking about getting a new car. So I don't know. Elizabeth might have a sister, a cousin. I don't know. If y'all can, please pop out to the next meet that I'm having. Like I said, it's October 1st, 6 p.m. in Laurel, Laurel, Maryland. So it's going to be lots of Acura's, TL's for sure there. Going to be selling some uh, banners for the car. So I got these banner, but they're in white. So I'm selling them. And I also got UA Squad stickers that I'm selling as well. They come in white. I hope I gave y'all a quick little run through. I try not to make this video super long and just drag everything out like a lot of other people do. But like I said, this is just going to be a quick little updated video of just everything that's going on. 
So if y'all can, please pop out to the meet. Please like and drop a comment below. Let me know what car y'all have, like what model, Acura, anything. And like that, we are out. Peace.